Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you that are joining us for today. We're gonna, uh, we're actually gonna show you the five steps to build the ultimate profile, but at the same time, LinkedIn, as of yesterday, has, uh, announced, uh, a few new, uh, profile, uh, pieces, as well as things that they have released to, released to everybody. So, as you know, in our previous webinars, LinkedIn um, releases different profile features sort of in pieces, right? Because we operate on so many servers in so many countries. In fact, today, just to show you how global this is, you know, we are connected by this class to over 11 countries. So first and foremost, I want to welcome each and every one of you onto our class today, broadcasting from the Midwest the sunny Midwest and still a little bit warm out. Um, and then it is uh, 2 o'clock here, but I know for many of you it's early in the morning and late at night, so I just want to welcome each and every one of you that have taken time out of your day to be with us. And so uh, our company is Forward Progress, and we are a training and coaching company. And uh, my name is Dean Delisle. I'm your host today. I'm the founder and CEO of Forward Progress. Now, uh, we've, we train and coach about 2,000 people a month. And in the last couple of years, we've trained almost 70,000 people. We're approaching that number, and hopefully we'll arrive there here in the next couple of weeks. That'll be a big milestone for us. We try to focus on how to convert, generate leads, how to generate business, build partnerships, anything that has to do with helping you uh, build your business. Now, what's interesting is I just gave a talk uh, to a local middle school, 7th uh, and 8th graders, which I just posted on my Facebook page. Um, and it was cool to see how they are using social networking, right, for just um, their social networks. And so we teach them how to build their career. We go into high schools and teach them how to build their career, how to get into universities. And then, you know, we go into universities and teach people how to, how to get hired. And then we deal with professionals and teach them how to grow their business and generate leads and, and how to convert their network with intention to the best possible outcome and, and generate appointments and business and things like that or, or make significant career moves. So uh, what I want to do is open your mind up to the possibilities as I'm talking about things of how you can do that for you. You know, so where are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? And if you want to communicate with us, we have uh, several hundred people registered for today, but if you want to, if you want to communicate with us, there is a questions area in the GoToWebinar taskbar. So just so that I know all of you can find that and ask questions, I just want you to type in a hi or hello. And I'm always interested, you know, I can see on your on my uh, report where you guys are from, but I know we have people from all over the world. So if you want to say hi from whatever part of the world you're in, that's awesome. We have people from California. We do have people from Chicago. Looks like we have people uh, from Italy with us. Welcome today. Uh, we have people from Houston, Texas, Atlanta checking in. We have uh, Tanya from Atlanta. Hi, Tanya. Diana from Texas. So we are all one big social network, right? And we're all connected from Michigan, New York. Uh, looks like Spain is with us today. Uh, I mentioned Italy and looks like uh, South Africa. Welcome. So I want to welcome each and every one of you. And again, if you want to ask us questions along the way, um, just please type in there and we'll try to get to as many as possible. And in the interest of keeping us on pace or on task, um, you know, we will uh, maybe take some of those questions at the end. But again, we want to introduce some of these new features uh, today as well. So a lot of times, uh, as you've heard in our classes, if you're a repeat, I see some, some friendly faces and some, uh, uh, you know, some old friends and connections on here today, so I want to welcome you, as well as a lot of new people. So as, as you know, you know, we talk about the importance of your profile, of having a complete profile. Well, LinkedIn has done a job where they are actually coaching us a little better on having a complete profile. So I want to share with you some of the new features which will make your profile even more complete. And you have to pay attention to this because there are things that if you fill it out, this will help you get found. You know, the idea here is that people that are searching to either hire us uh, for their company or hire us to do business with our businesses or with us as salespeople is so significant that if we build our profiles in the right way, we have that greater ability to get found. And there's millions of searches going on right now, 
right, for, for us. You know, people are looking for you, whatever you do right now. But if your profile isn't packed with that great information and those keywords, you're not going to get found. You're not going to appear in the searches. So we're going to give you some key elements and some new elements so that, you know, you can have the ultimate profile, if you will. Now, when we look, the old story of this was the 100% completeness. That has gone away. This used to be the way that we could tell if our profile was complete. Now, the conditions of scoring haven't changed. Okay, so if we look at this, it's based on our profile strength, which if you click on your profile and you view your profile, it's on the right-hand side halfway down, and it tells you your profile strength. Um, now, I am an all-star. You can see I've got a little bit of white in there because I have some education that I didn't complete. So, so LinkedIn scores me a little shy of, of being complete because, you know, if I, I took the education, I'm claiming it, but I cannot claim a degree uh, in, in certain schools. So I have to, uh, I want to list it on there because that's how I connect to my alumni, but I lose a little scoring in that. But we do want you to be as complete. So let's look at this new criteria. They first and foremost want to make sure that you claim an industry and location. So that's now a required field, and hopefully you've all claimed that. Now this is your industry and location, for you the professional. We also want to have an up-to-date current position with description. Okay, that means with description, all of your positions should have description. When we build profiles and we do this professionally for companies, it's really, really critical that people have a description in as many places as possible. This helps with the search, okay? So make sure you look at your position and previous positions. You see how it says two past positions? It'll help with your scoring with LinkedIn, but it'll also help with the people that find you, you know, that are looking for you, right, with those key words. Now, we also want you to list your education. Even if you didn't finish, we are proven that even though LinkedIn doesn't rate you, you know, all the way complete, you know, they'll see this as some level of incompleteness, they still score you higher in the search engines in terms of people who are looking for you, which is the most important part here. And again, I see people are still logging in, and we have people from all over the world joining us. So again, if you have questions for us, type those into the questions area of the GoToWebinar taskbar. So we're talking about the profile here, right? You also need to have a minimum of three skills. We'll talk about this in more detail. A profile photo. Our thing is, we always say, you wouldn't go to a networking event with a bag over your head. Well, think about this. Put your profile picture on there, right? And we don't want to see a glamour shot. We want to actually see what you would look like if we met you. So make sure it's current, make sure it's in the setting of where we might see you at work and how you might look at work. If you wear a tie at work, wear a tie at work. If you wear a, a dress at work, wear a dress, you know, in your profile, you know. So, so we want to see what you're going to look like as the professional, okay. And then, uh, and then at least 50 connections, okay. And this will get you that scoring strength that you need and this will immediately help your search results. Now. That's not all, because as people are typing in, you have many different areas to put things of who you are, right? And think about that. So, so just think about um, what that looks like. Now, I just had a question uh, come in about uh, regarding up-to-date. What if you were on sabbatical or unemployed? You know, what do you put for an up-to-date? Your current position is that you're still an expert. You're still a professional. So claim that current professional. And, and I even think that it's good to say that you are looking. Tell your network that you're looking, right? You're an available uh, certified uh, engineer, whatever it is that you are. Tell people, you know, seeking uh, my next opportunity. You know, I think it's okay to claim that. And a lot of people uh, don't, but we teach people how to find interviews and get interviews by building a good social network for their career. So again, that's a bigger conversation than today, but I appreciate that question. And I'll keep taking questions, and some of these might be answered at the end. Now, uh, one of the things I really like is we want to be available. Now, this is only viewable to the people that are connected to you in most cases, depending on how you create your settings. But if you have an address that you want to be listed for, if you have a phone number that you want people to call you at, you should actually list that phone number in here. You also have the ability to put in your Twitter accounts and your, e and your websites. Now, you can only have three websites, right? But you can have multiple Twitter accounts as well. So if you have a couple Twitter accounts, we, I have a personal Twitter account. 
Dean Delisle, if you want to follow me on Twitter, and Forward Progress, spelled FWD Progress, Inc., if you want to follow us on Forward Progress. Um, and then uh, make sure that you also... Uh, you know, clearly state and spell your names and things like that in your websites, right? We don't want to see my company or my personal website. We want you to actually edit this and claim your entire business in there. All right, and then make sure you also claim your name. You see at the bottom here where I have linkedin.com slash in slash Dean Delisle. Claim that, click edit. If there's a bunch of numbers in there, claim that name for yourself, right? So you own your name on LinkedIn, not somebody else. Now here's the other thing. Now they, they created this drop down in here, which I like. So before you do too much editing in your profile, you can actually export it to a PDF. Now we have you do this with other people when you meet them and you go to meetings. You can actually export it to a PDF and make some great notes and put it in your CRM. But I also encourage you to do that for yourself. This is how the rest of the world views you. So you can export your profile to a PDF and see how well you look. Right, so think about the greatness in that. There's some other cool things in there. Now, this is fairly new. So if you look, all of you should have this feature now. They announced yesterday, right? So they announced yesterday that they are giving everybody these couple of features that I'm about to talk about. So make sure that you see these. If not, let LinkedIn know. Go to the Help Center and tell them, I don't have this feature, okay? You should be able to drag and arrange any of your positions. So you should be able to move things around by clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to bring my live screen up here for a minute. Let's go here. And so if I want to go to my profile, and I'm going to edit my profile. Let's see if I can get in here quickly, right? Edit profile. There we go. All right, so now if I wanted to, I could take any place where there's an up and down arrow, and you see how I can move and drag my position? Because a lot of you have a couple of positions, right? You sit on a board of directors, you have a company, you might have two companies. What is your number one position that you're claiming to be in? Well, you can actually claim that and put that up top. So that's pretty cool. So I just want you to understand that you have the ability to arrange your profile, just like a website. It's pretty cool. So you can claim that. Now let's talk about the actual uh, skills and experience, okay? This is a section that has a lot of benefit and some controversy because a lot of people are clicking on things that may not be your primary skill. So I get a lot of reactive folks that are going, yeah, but you know what? People are uh, claiming me for this skill. Well, you don't have to accept it. Accept the skills. Fill out the 50 skills that you want to be known for, and then what LinkedIn will do is go out to your network and allow you to, to ask people if you really have this skill. And it looks at your job history, your pro profile and it guesses if you don't fill out 50 skills and in areas of expertise it's going to ask your network well you should be able to claim that and then validate it to your network and what i like about this is as people see me in the world cuz it'll say well you know so and so just you know acknowledged you for this and that and everything else and i'm like well yeah i really do know that i'm going to use that skill instead of the skill that i named that i have and so sometimes I will adjust my skills based on how you guys see the work that I do. So if I get three, four, five, six, ten people claiming a skill for me, that means that's the way I'm seen. That's what I'm putting myself out there as, and that's how people are looking for me. And so I pay attention to that area for that fact. Now, there are a lot of people just clicking on skills because it's at the top of their screen and they want to feel good about helping somebody out and claiming their skills. I want to put out there that I think you should only do this if you're being authentic, if you absolutely know that person has that skill, that's the only time you should endorse them. Don't just click on things to click on things. Make sure you stop and look at it, and you really are endorsing them for that skill that you are claiming that they have. So think about what that looks like. Now there's a ton of new sections. This is the one that has a couple different screen looks. So I'm going to give you one screen look, right, which is add sections, where you can add certifications, courses, honors and awards, languages, organizations, projects, patents, test scores. You can add all kinds of things. If you guys have published anything, you can claim your publications. So it's really, really cool. Now where it's, it's on the newer profile look, this is where it's at. 
It's on the top right hand when you go to edit your profile. It says recommended for you and allows you with the plus sign to add any of those sections. Okay, so think about what that looks like. Okay, so very, very, very good. You guys can add this, and there's a ton in there, more than I can mention in here. So one of the, a couple that I think are the most important, especially, you know, based on the profiles and uh, that I saw of yours today, um, I'm thinking about volunteer experiences and causes, right? We all, we all uh, uh, most of us have causes and things that we volunteer our time to, and it gives us the ability to actually claim that online. Now, what it will do is you can see that I support Concern Worldwide, St. Jude's, American Heart Association, Autism Speaks, and, and some of these other ones. So as I support those, I am creating a social network connection to other people that support those, right? So I am creating a way for me to be in community with my online community. So even though I have quite a few connections, I can now be in a different level of community through my volunteer experiences and causes. So there is a special section that you can claim with that now. I also like projects. Projects are really, really cool because you can connect companies, projects, websites, and people, and not, you know, a lot of you do a lot of project work, right? So why not take credit for all the projects that you do, claim that, right, put that on there, and attach yourself to the people and the good work that you did in that project. So that is cool. Um, but again, fill it out as much as you can and make sure it supports what your current efforts are in generating business or moving your career along, okay? Claim those projects and attach to those people. Now, uh, you can also have publications, things that you've published, right? So you can have this, uh, you know, like I did the nine things you need to do before you log in, and I tell people, download this ebook, and this is back from 2010, and I give them a link when they click on it to be able to download the ebook. This is the one yesterday that was the big, 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 big news item that uh, we've had for a while, but not everybody's had. Now everyone should have it. There's a little link here that's a box with a plus sign, and it's got two different looks to it. So I'm going to show you two different looks. This one here that says add a link to a video image document presentation. Now I'm going to go live to my profile here because I believe they changed mine. So it says upload file where uh, LinkedIn actually stores the file or add a link, right? So this link could be to YouTube, to Pinterest, any other way. And I encourage you that if you have video or if you have photos, pick a, ver you know, or slide share as a PowerPoint, pick a place that, that is a social network to house all those things, right? So the reason we want to do that is because it helps the searching in your profile. So you'll notice here I have my video up on YouTube and I actually put in my keywords to get found. And when I did this, I put in like forward progress, generate leads, social networks, overview of forward progress, Dean Delisle, you know, uh, generate millions of leads, need leads, right, social networks. You see how I use my keywords when I post any type of video, and I also did this on this video that happens to be sitting on, uh, on uh, YouTube. Now, I, I also have here giving a seminar for American Family Insurance or teaching a workshop, I have this on Pinterest. And I have a description and everything on Pinterest, but I have an additional description here on um, LinkedIn. So this is super duper cool to me in terms of adding these things. And you see I have some more pictures down here uh, teaching my course at UIC Graduate School. So I really love what they've done and allowed us to do this. And those of you that take advantage of this are going to get hired. You're going to get the contracts. You're going to look good. You're going to build trust. Okay, and that's what you want to do. So again, this is far surpassing in some cases the effectiveness of the website, which we spend all this time on our websites, but this is the new trusted version of the personal website because we all want to trust people and generate business between each other, 
right? So think about the importance of that. And so many of you, especially with today's technology, have the ability to, to record video and to take pictures on your iPhones in, in HD and put it up there. You know, this was professionally done. You don't have to do that anymore, right? So it is so much easier to do some of these things. So I think that is super cool, and all of you should have that. And that's sort of the video and the pictures part. Let's talk about some posting changes as of this week, okay? Now, uh, the reason, the thing you always want to think about is it's not about sell, sell, sell all the time, right? So we want you to be able to actually um, be able to put, um, you know, think of all, all the other things about where does your audience want? What do they need? What are you passionate about? How can you add value to your audience when you're posting? Um, so now one of the coolest things you can do is you can type a name or the at sign to mention someone. Even if it doesn't say that, go ahead and do it. This feature should be working. So as I type at Jeff space G, it finds all my Jeffs in my database with a G, or it finds companies. So you can tag companies that you're connected to or you're following, and you can tag people that you're connected to, your connections. So this is very cool about mentioning people. Just like we do on Facebook and Twitter, you can now do this within LinkedIn. And I think it's super duper cool because it connects us. It's an interaction point. It sparks engagement and conversation, which translates into trust and doing business. Make sense? So does everybody get this so far? I just want to make sure everybody's getting it. So very good. Um, so uh, real quick, uh, I just I just want to um, I just want to check in with everybody in terms of their uh, profile. So I want to know, like, in terms of your profile and things like that, like, how many people you know have a have a complete profile? You know, so so I'm just going to launch this out here. I'm just going to launch a poll. I just always like to see how many people have that complete, 100% complete profile right now. Because we're usually at like a 70, 30, 80, 20. And now I'm just going to do this for 30 seconds. I just On your screen is like a polling uh, screen that just came up. And I'm not going to call anybody out. I'm, this is more like a mass poll. I've got 51% of you in. And I know this is looks like it's almost all the way around the world. That's it. Okay, it looks like everyone should have it on their screen. So if you could just quickly click, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not calling anybody out. So so now we, we tend to look at, and this is about, looks like this group is more like 60-40. If I could get most of you to participate, I'm going to give it 10 more seconds. Just a quick click, yes or no. There we go, 65%. Almost everybody's there with me. All right, good. Okay, so I'm going to close this out. We're at 70%. So with 70%, we're right at 50-50. I'll just show you those results real quick. So that's with 50% uh, of our people in. Okay, so now, right, so we have value-based posting. This feature has been around for a while, and I use it on my iPad all the time, but it's called LinkedIn Today, okay? And so what I like about LinkedIn Today is I can subscribe to any news that I want out there. I can go into LinkedIn Today, and I can program the industries and the different things that I'm following. So I always want to make sure that um, <laughs> I always want to make sure um, that we, uh, you know, that we that we have news at our fingertips, and I like because LinkedIn serves this up. So LinkedIn, you know, the day's top news tailored for you, and and one of the coolest things. Do I have a screen on this? Yes. So on the coolest things, you can customize your news. Let's see if I can get this up here. I just want to see if I show this. I have time to show this. I love this feature, so I'm going to take a, a few extra seconds here and dive you guys into it. So now when I, I look on here, and I can go into my news. Now, you just I just clicked on the icon. I'm going to the home page. And you see LinkedIn today, right? And so I go to LinkedIn today, and I click on that. I really love this. And now you can go in here and customize your news. And you can see the different suggestions that it makes and the ones that I follow. But I like the sources here. Look at the sources. I can go in and follow, you know, AOL Energy. I can I can follow uh, PC Magazine. I can go in here and follow Forbes, right? Whatever I want, Fortune Magazine. I have that choice of following whoever I want. Um, and these nors, these news sources, right? Yeah, these are news sources, right? And uh, no, a, a, co a company, well, a company can add, you know, can ask LinkedIn to get listed, but Andrew's asking, can a company be a news source? 
uh, not at this layer. Like you can subscribe to a company with RSS feeds, but they're not allowing it just yet. But I, but I do know people that have jumped in here based on their inquiry of providing news uh, to uh, to this. Now, yeah, this is a this is not really an app. This is just built into LinkedIn today. So where you see your LinkedIn today, you can go in and follow industries or follow sources. Okay, so I, that's what I really like about this. So as I'm doing, as we're doing new projects or taking on clients, all of a sudden I can go bam. If we pick on the automotive, I can start following that and get news, which then I can get that news and quickly share that news with my network, right? And that would look like a post that I can share. Uh, what I like is I can share that news with any of my social networks. All right, let's keep going, and I'll get back to some of these questions. I do have a flurry of questions coming in, but I will get back to these. I just want to stay on pace so we finish on time with everybody. Okay, and then you guys know how I always say to ask somebody before you get into, right? Um, you know, uh, think about that. So think about, you know, if you're, you know, if, if you're connecting with somebody and they feel right, uh, you know, about LinkedIn, is it okay if we connect? Right, so think about what that means. So if I think about getting social, you know, if I want to get social, I'm going to think that you're a good connection, right? So if, if Robin or Kent or Ricky, I think you guys are good connections and we have a conversation, I'm going to say, is it okay if we connect, get social? Right, so think about what that looks like if I connect to your entire network. It's different than if I'm just connected to you. So now, because I'm asking you to connect to your entire network, I want to get permission. So we always want that permission first. So here's some of the connection changes that I think that are pretty cool. There's different ways you can do this. Now the things that are really, really new are, are sort of adding connections. What they did is they expanded the sort of, you know, like once you list the universities, you can actually dig a little deeper and see who you're connected to based on who you went to school with, and you're like, wow, I didn't even know we went to the same school at the same time, because universities are so big. You can actually see where they live, where they work, what they do, you know, there's all kinds of things you can see about that, and all you have to do is you just go into contacts, right, and then you just select your university, and then you can look at either the time you attended or the year that you graduated. So it's pretty cool that you can start getting into your alumni, you know, groups, and maybe they're even working at companies that you're trying to get into and business that you're trying to do. So it's a pretty cool networking opportunity. The other thing I really, really like is this right green button at the upper top where it says add connections. I love the fact that you can now go into uh, Comcast and Gmail and Yahoo and Hotmail um, and think about pulling those people in and validating them. Um, you know, uh, think about what that looks like. Yeah, right. Um, you know, Diana's saying, you know, one of the things, actually, I just uh, told this to a lot of the students at school, Diana, was that um, she wants to eliminate contacts that she accepted when she was new to LinkedIn, but are not really good connections today. And you can, you can go into anybody and remove connections. Just click on contacts and remove connections, and it's in the upper right-hand side. And they don't even get a notice that you're removing them. That's what I like. Okay, so back on track here in terms of see who you already know on LinkedIn. What I like about this is they changed this and updated it to where all these are supported, all these web addresses. We can import web email contacts from the following domains. So all of these, Mac.com, you know, all of them, you can actually uh, pull people in Verizon, right, all of you on Verizon, so SBC Global. You can pull those in, att.net, and that's a cool thing. So think about what that looks like. Now, and Robert has a different philosophy. I actually want to get into this dialogue, Robert, but I'm going to wait till the end because it's, it's really a great dialogue between the two of you. So, uh, so think about that, though. So this, this way now you can add. Now, there's a couple different philosophies. With LinkedIn, they will punish you if you add too many people uh, or if too many people say, I don't know you. So you either have to punch up a really good value or just make sure that you know that person. I try to subscribe to the fact that, you know, we know each other or we have something in common or we can see the potential for doing business together, 
Um, so I really look at that, and, and that's how I connect. But everybody has a slightly different philosophy on that. I want to make sure it's targeted toward the type of business that I'm doing and, and the way that I'm growing our business here at Forward Progress. Okay, and that's a lot of times how we recommend. But we will go into that because that's a good discussion. Um, so now if we think about it, what are some other interaction changes? Well, um, you know, we, we have, uh, uh, you know, the area of, you know, the LinkedIn today, right? So I mentioned that where you can actually share any of your updates. Here's what I like more than anything. I like the opportunity of, and I'm just going to go to my home screen again here. I like the opportunity of this all updates where I can actually, you know, sort of customize this or I can, I can look at, you know, I can look at who I've hidden. I can look at all these RSS feeds. So, you know, Andrew, you were talking about RSS feeds. Um, what I like is I can sort of see how my network is connecting. So I can see if you're in my network, I can see who the people are that you're adding. So if I just want to focus on that today and see the big networking event on LinkedIn and who's connecting to who, I can actually change that view. If I want to look at who's updating their profiles in my network, I can go through and see who's updating their skills and, and what people are saying about each other. If I want to see what you guys are sharing, right, if all the people that are sharing and I want to like and comment things, I can actually do that. And I can see I have Seema on with us and a few others today. Um, but, but, you know, I, this is where I can really drill down and like the things of my clients. I can have conversations with Kathy, Leanne. I can really get in here and wire myself into a focused area of networking. It's like walking in and walking right up to the people that I know and getting into a conversation, interaction, right, engagement. This is what it's about. So I love the fact of being able to do that. So to me, this is a big, big, big change in, in able to, you know, enabling me to do that. Now, a couple of things that are different is they have these different searches to actually find that. Here's another change. So up here, most of you should have this feature where you click on people and you can go to updates. And they're changing this a little bit. But if I want to find all the updates in my, in my news feed that have to do with coaching, okay, I just want to see who's talking about coaching. I can actually search on all the updates that have to do with coaching. And there's 116,000. And then I can drill down and look at, you know, I've got my first 75 first level connection posts. 11,000 second level connection posts. I can target locations, right? So if I want to target conversations going on in New York City, bam, I can go to New York City. If I'm looking at integrating just with my second level connections, I can go to my second level connections in New York City. If I'm looking at targeting an industry, I can target an industry and walk up and start dialogue with these people in liking and commenting based even if I'm not connected to them. And so I like this because uh, it opens up this great possibility of me engaging with these people in a short period of time. And those of you that have taken our training know that we're all about the 20 minutes a day, right? Everything we do and produce and produce together is in 20 minutes a day or less. If it's taken you longer, you need to get into our coaching classes so that you can produce in a shorter period of time and not spend so much time on here, but get out of here and get the business done because that's what we're about, is making sure that you convert. So, so just think about these interaction points. These are so great that LinkedIn has done for us, so I really love them. And it doesn't matter as they're shifting the format. They're not taking the features away. They may change where you click on them. And, and again, those of you that are in our, our training and coaching program, every Wednesday you can come in and we'll give you those updates of where they're moving stuff around because it may be here one day and not there the next. So you want to make sure you can get to them. This is one of the new uh, search screens, you know, for those, you know, for searching for jobs and things like that. So in the jobs area, they've changed and reformatted this entire section so that you can see who's hiring and, and things like that. So, and those of you that are companies, you know, can actually put your job postings up here. A lot of big success in this area. Okay, so let's talk just briefly about business pages. So many of you have business or connected to business. So every business should have a business page. It's like a website. It's, 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 it's just, you, you should have it. There are so many new cool changes uh, with 
uh, these business pages. So you can have uh, pictures, right? You can share articles, ask a question, or post a specific offer, right, to people that are following you. So think of the coolness in this, right? So we post all kinds of, of you know, good, you know, good articles and useful information, just like we do on our Facebook and our Twitter page. But we also do it on our business page, and it's different from what I put out there to you guys. So if you're connected to me, you're going to get a certain flavor of Dean Delisle and the news that I do versus if I come in and my company is, is doing because our social media department has a whole dynamic of news and updates that they find and they put out there for you guys and so that is done in the post and I really love that right and so you can see all the updates that get posted and the interaction with those updates I think that is like super super cool and so you can put a full description just like a website, URLs, company size, the whole thing. And guess what? You can put videos. You can put YouTube videos on your products and services and about your company. So again, it's like having a full darn website. And you just have to go. Now, now there are some rules. I mean, you want to make sure that you spend some time on this. Don't just throw it up there right map it out like a website you know we build these two if you need if you need some help with them but just take your time take your time and map it out like you would your website so it really is a good job okay and and uh, and then really work on making sure that you put good engaging information about what you do you can break out all your services all your products and really just list them out there like a website most of you have great websites I was scanning and I saw your websites so you can pretty much cut and paste that information into your business page right so think about the possibilities and then the goal is to get people to follow you boy that would be nice huh what does Dell have 340,000 followers that's not bad I think we're up to a hundred something so uh, so yes if you guys want to get news from us want to stay tuned into this stuff we will send you where the next webinar is what it's about just go on to forward progress uh, and follow that company you just click on companies type in forward progress find us and you can follow us right um, you know so uh, and, and you know Andrew's saying you know should a small company use this instead of a website a traditional website I don't think so you know Andrew I think that it's um, uh, oh, I'm sorry this is Andy <laughs> I got Andrew Mercer and Andy Merker on the phone so sorry I was uh, confusing you guys but good question you know because uh, I think a website still gives you a good footprint still provides validation not everybody's in LinkedIn there's only 200 million people there's still you know a billion people outside of it you know to the to date so it depends on your business but I would say no I would say if you could do a even a small five page website or a business website even if it's a small company spend the money on, on having both and, and think about it maintain the connection and the information on both of those and you're gonna serve your company in fact we just signed a couple contracts today in our standard packages we do a rapid launch plan we define who you are we put all the stuff together we put all this stuff together and then um, you know and then from there we actually uh, you know we actually make sure that the same message is everywhere in your profiles on your Facebook on your Twitter on your business page and on your website does that make sense to everybody if it does just say yes because I want to make sure you're getting what I just told you is like the secret to search engine marketing you want to have the same profile information that you've worked so hard for right put it the same information on your main website your business pages and Facebook and LinkedIn your personal profiles and all those areas and I do have some good questions coming in so I want to make sure and uh, I know I know uh, <laughs> um, I have some people especially my folks uh, uh, some of my folks overseas so I want to make sure that um, uh, that you understand I'm going to be sending you the slides I'm going to be sending you uh, I'm going to be sending you um, also the uh, recording of this so we'll give you some of these and Tony's uh, saying you know ballpark the pricing I don't want to get into pricing right now Tony and if you want I can, you know we have different packages for different size companies but the thing is if you guys are doing this on your own because we want to empower those of you that can't afford to hire a company if if you want to do this on your own you're basically mapping out 
uh, how you want people to find you and you want a consistent message and then make sure that when I type your name into Google I see the same company in LinkedIn, in Twitter, in Facebook, I see the same professional in you on your different social profiles. I literally just left a middle school telling them the exact same thing. This is their social footprint. This is the difference in credibility between you getting hired and not getting hired, between your contract getting selected and not getting selected. Okay. This, this works universally for each and every one of us. Okay, so here's your, here's your assignment, and then I'll get back to, I have a bunch of questions in here, and I'll show you a couple other new things at the end. So now we fix your profiles, right? Just look good, look consistent, be relevant, be complete. Show me that you're a complete person. Build your network, right? Add those connections. Make sure you know the people. Add those connections. Be social and be engaging, right? So like, comment, have conversations online, and provide value. And watch the clock. Make sure that you're producing results in that 20 minutes a day. Okay, and so build that consistency for yourself. Now, real quick, some announcements. Many of you are in our Social Jack system. It's our monthly subscription system where you get coaching support and all kinds of slower classes. We don't give you as much as we do in this. We want to make sure we can pace your education. And we also repeat things so you can see things over and over, and we update stuff all the time. And a lot of people are like, how can I get in? Because we're just taking small batches of students because we're building out a whole complete platform of tools and mobile things to help you build your social network and understand your social network if it's serving you or not and give you the things and the tools that you can do in less than 20 minutes a day. So, so we have this going on right now and we have a new class starting up that teaches you how to build your network and I see a lot of our students are on today but at June 21st we start another Social Jack class which will take your social network from what it is today from the current state to the ideal state. The ideal state meaning that it will generate your career path or your, the business that you need to generate from your network. And we constantly show you how to upgrade and tune in and, and build your network so that it serves you and how to be in relationship with your network. That's the social jack training, right? Now we also have other types of training. We have two live LinkedIn sales sessions. Right, so if you're in sales or you're responsible, you know, you're responsible for generating sales. And I'm telling you, if you're on a career path, you're in sales. You need to sell yourself into a company. It works for you too. You can build your sales plan, right? And we start that May 30th at noon central, right? That's Chicago time. So whatever time that is, you can calculate. And all classes are recorded, just like this one's being recorded. We're going to teach you the 20 minute a day detail plan and how to track it. Then session two is sales conversion. That's on June 6 at noon on Thursday. So the social jack classes are going to run on Tuesdays and then Thursdays. And then also what we do is we provide, we provide weekly coaching sessions where you can bring whatever question you have. So Tanya, if you want to talk about Twitter, or Robin, if you want to talk about you know, your Facebook page or email marketing, we have our experts standing by and for a complete hour every Wednesday. Right, we allow you into those sessions, okay. And if you just want to try this out, right, this is like a, a a trial thing. If you just want to do this, right, for the next couple of months and check out the sales program, we're going to give you the LinkedIn beginner program, Social Jack coaching, right. When the email goes out into your inbox, it's going to be ninety nine dollars. If you guys want to do this, right, this is, we haven't done this before, but if you want to do this, we are actually going to give you this for $79. And if you want to do this for the next couple of months and just see how it goes and take it slow and get some classes on video, we'll give you some, some basic classes, which you'll automatically get when you register some LinkedIn basic classes. And then... Um, We'll get you into the live sales classes, and we'll give you some coaching, and you'll get all this stuff. You just go to socialjack.eventbrite.com. And I think we have about uh, 25, or it looks like 22 in there, and then we're going to drop an email to our subscribers, which we have over 50,000 subscribers. 
But if you do it now, right, for the next couple of days, we're going to do this early bird sort of registration. You get about 120 bucks off the package. And really, folks, it's a $400, $500 value because you're getting the coaching sessions and you're getting all the classes. So if that's for you, I've tried to make this as low as I can. We still have overhead and technology and, and resources that go behind this, right, because we, we coach you every week. But I really want to make sure, I, I want to help each and every one of you. And while we do these free classes, and you can take some away. If you're in a structured 20-minute-a-day program, you can actually produce results. So please do that. Now, while uh, I'm, I'm taking some questions, I really want to also see, we're, we've got some new classes coming up. So I'm going to put a poll on the screen so that I can understand what kind of other communication is going to help you. So, you know, are you guys a small business? Are you guys a corporation? Are you an individual? And uh, I just want you to click on what makes sense for you. Do you just need additional training? And again, I'm not going to, you're not going to get a million sales calls on this. I, we just want to know what to put out there for you guys, okay? And I think you can click on more than one option if I'm not, uh, not mistaken. But um, yeah, you can select all that apply because I don't want to send everybody everything because some of you need social media policies. Some of you, uh, you know, are a little bigger organization, so you need sort of bigger solutions. Uh, we also have small business updates. Let me scroll through while you guys are doing that because I've got almost half of you uh, responding on that. So let's uh, go ahead. I'm going to just leave it up for another 20 seconds, and then we'll take it down. Uh, let's see. So um, now Robert had a good comment on her. He said he would never remove a connection because each person might be connected to someone you might want to meet. Now I, I agree with that and sometimes I disagree with that Robert. So um, if I think about uh, what that looks like and, and I'm just going to give you the context for me is that I do have people that as I look they're not in good relationship or connection with me and I can see they're not in good relationship with their network. So sometimes I have a I have a problem where I'm like, well, they're just not a good connection. I can find another connection that will connect me to those people. So while I believe in some of that, I'm still somewhat I'm always looking for people I'm going to take out because sometimes they they just feel like a like they're toxic in their network and their people aren't going to like like I couldn't go to them for a relationship anyway and I have other ways I can connect to them right it's a big 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 world and they're and they're all connected in in some way so um I want to think about that somebody had asked about how to create um yeah, so, so uh, you know, uh, being, you know, Ken's asking, uh, being found versus being selected for contact, right? So being found versus being selected. What's the extra edge in general? That's an excellent question. So let's just bring up, uh, see if I can bring up a profile real quick or a search. So I think the extra connection is is sort of selling yourself, right? And that comes in all kinds of different flavors. So let's say I'm doing... Uh, let's say I'm doing, I'm searching for a good coach online, you know, so I might type in coaching, right? And so I'll click on coaching and search that. What do I come up with, right? I get like 3 million, you know, results, right? And now the first thing I'm going to do is first impressions. Who's jumping out at me? Who am I looking for? And I might, I might actually say, well, you know what? I need a good coach. So I'm going to look at first level connections. Now, this may get a little confusing because there's so many people, right? And and you can look by relevance or relationship. And a lot of people search by different ways, right? So what you want to do is what's going to jump out and make you, am I going to go with Ton de Graf because he has 31 shared connections and we're really wired together and it looks like we're in the same social circle? Because you ever do that, you're like, um, you're like, man, you know what, uh, do you guys know anybody that's a good electrician or do you know anybody that's a good accountant or a good attorney? So you always go to your social network. So some people do it based on, you know, the trust is built based on the appearance and completeness of the profile. The position of the search always helps as well as being well connected and wired. That's why we want you to connect to other like-minded sources or hubs as we call them so that you can come up in the relevant searches. 
And so I think that conversion point or that, that being selected point, and I like that term, Kent, how do I get selected? So I get up to the top. How do I get selected? I think you really have something, you know, and I always talk about this headline. Like to me, executive, you know, executive and leadership coach, there has to be more that you do. You know, am I going to take somebody that, that clearly states everything that they do or somebody that's simple? It probably depends on, on me, but I think you stand a better chance of just clearly defining yourself right and again you know if you're claiming your area and I'm looking for a coach in Chicago you know which this is how people search I can start going through and saying and here I see a ton of my students <laughs> that are all claiming because we train and coach a lot of coaches as well so I'm actually seeing them all up on the, the screen here so the idea is uh, Kent I think uh, for me it's about being very clear because you know if I read this I'm looking for a certain type of coach or speaker right so I can see that Gertrude here couples and families right group facilitator this is somebody if I'm looking for a family coach that would jump out because she's very clear on what she does you know, and, and Burl is, is a growth coach here about having a great life. So that's what she stands for and what she does. Um, so I think it's important to claim your expertise. But great, great, great question. I'm just scanning questions here, folks. So I, let's see, I usually reach out. Uh, I think that's Robert, which hopefully, Robert, I address that. Yeah, and so Robert has another good point. I know this is always a great, juicy discussion, right? Um, yeah, and, and Bernie uh, said, number of keywords pulls you to the top. So you do have to be careful, though. I always uh, claim, and we've proven this, you know, we have a SE, uh, SEO, SEM department, and so that's search engine marketing. And so I always find on the professional level, because companies can own so many and people can own so many, while you can have 50 skills, I always say, keep it to 20 keywords or less. And if you can claim 10 and really own those 10 throughout your entire existence of your career and your education and your profile and on your websites, that makes you very strong in those 10. However, if you have 20 because of the limitation of characters, you, you somewhat dilute your story sometimes. Uh, let's see, uh, personal experience. So Robert, there's always these cases and I love to read them. My friend was found by a recruiter because his resume profile was very detailed and was a perfect match for a job story absolutely every time. And, and again, Robert, you know, Robert was the one who said he doesn't tend to let connections go. So that's one of those, those type of deals where it's like, you know, I think it's, um, you just have to feel it out. I don't like being connected to people that are too annoying or just feel like a wrong connection for me. And Deborah was saying the poll doesn't work on the iPad, so I'll let LinkedIn know. Uh, if you're recruiting or trolling for prospects, many connects are valuable. Yes, so Bernie uh, has a good point. So if you're in a recruiting role, I agree it's a numbers game. So let's see. Oh, and somebody's asking for the link real quick. It's Social Jack, which gets you access for a couple months to the LinkedIn basic classes, the sales classes. And again, remember, they're recorded, folks. You don't have to be there for the live class. You can take them this month, and you'll get them again next month. So classes don't start for a few weeks. And we're not going to offer it at the $79 again, I promise you. Social Jack. Dot eventbrite.com. So the minute the, pro the full profile goes up and it goes public in uh, the next 45 to 60 days, uh, full, full pricing goes into effect. So I want to make sure you guys showed up, you guys are interested, you're engaging. I want to make sure you guys get, get sort of our best deal. Let's see what else we have here. So uh, any more questions? Who did I miss? Who did I miss here? How do you find the LinkedIn Today button? Okay, let's go back to that real quick. So if I just click on the LinkedIn icon, right? LinkedIn Today is right there, right next to the little flame. So it says LinkedIn Today. No matter what version you have, LinkedIn Today should be on your main screen. So that's for SEMA. Hopefully you saw that. Um, and Robert's in an all-star profile. Congratulations. Where do you go to claim your name, right? Because I showed you that. So if you go in to edit your profile and you edit your contact, well, actually, you don't even have to edit your contact information. So you go here and you see LinkedIn.com and you see this little blue IN under your picture there. You just go to edit and that's where you can claim your name. Does that help? Good. That's for Deborah. I'll make sure she got that. Uh, and I think I, did I get all the other questions? Oh, okay, so the, uh, 
So the question uh, was about the premium. Would you do it? Um, I'm not on premium. We do have some people that are, and I do support it as long, um, you know, so I think as long as you're using all the basic features. I, I would say if, if you go through our training and you use all the basic features, and you're on the basic features, uh, then then yes, because you're going to hit Windows to do it. But don't buy it and think it's going to bring you anything or get you anything, because you really need to understand the game of building your network and taking it to the next level. You know, without those features that it has. So there are restrictions on searches, and there's other reasons to get it. Um, where you'll say, oh, you can't have more than three searches. Well, are you producing business with the three searches that you have? If not, then maybe you should search differently, generate business, and then get a fourth search. So just having more searches will not give you the capability to get more business. It's impossible for you to possibly, and, and I'd love to hear cases on this, because again, we, we almost reaching 70,000 people that we've trained and coached on this, but I would really challenge uh, people uh, on, on the fact that if they're on the basic version and not generating business in any case where they bought the premium version and then started generating business, it makes no sense to me, right? It's like saying that, well, if I have a basic membership and I'm showing up to the meeting every Thursday night and I'm networking in the room, but yet I'm not generating any business. If I upgrade my membership, will I generate more business? Well, only if they send you, you know, into a whole different room where people are just freely giving away business, but you still need to have the fundamental skills of networking and engaging and interacting, right, with people in a proper way to convert them and build trust to do the business. And, and this is what we teach in our social jack classes and in our sales classes. It's how to build a high trust level network and how to convert that business because that's what this game is all about, right? It's how most of us have gotten to where we are in our business. Now it's time to take it to the next level with the tools of, of LinkedIn and the other social network sites. There's a whole world we're not even talking about here with Pinterest and Instagram and, and, and all kinds of other social networks. Twitter, Twitter's on the hot move. Google Plus, I just posted yesterday, second largest social network, right? They just moved into second place. Are you guys, you know, using and building your circles and your networks on Google Plus? It doesn't take a lot of time to do this, but it's what you do when you're there. Are you converting business, right? And if not, you need to be, because it's cool, and it's fun, and it's engaging, and it's great to catch up. But at the end of the day, folks, we have to produce. We have to generate business, and it's time to generate business. All right, so that's my rant for today. You guys know I love to rant on this, but I really care about people producing results, and you all have the capability to have whatever job you want and produce as much income as you need to from your network and have fun at what you're doing. Okay, this should not be a work, it should not be a chore, it should not take you hours per day to work your social network properly or build it in the direction to generate the best income possible for you or your business. Okay, so did everybody learn something new today? Did you guys at least walk away with one or two things that you can do to take it to the next level? Right, so I really want to make sure that if you know if you have any suggestions of things you want us to do webinars on, please, I'm going to put our contact information. Send that in to me and follow me on Twitter. Right, go to the Facebook page dot com forward progress. And if you want to connect to me, just give me, uh, tell me why you want to connect. Give me a reason of what you see in the partnership together, a way for us to connect, and absolutely, I'll connect to you because I want to help each and every one of you, but I want you to play the game. I want you to, to make sure that you understand this is about developing relationships and building really trust-based connections, right? Don't collect people, collect relationships, all right? That's my, that's my theme. So, all right, so uh, last but not least, <laughs> Yes, um, yes, okay, so Julie, uh, can you tell me the story of someone that made a connection and turned it into business? Absolutely. So I had a um, lady last week, one of our students, she's a loan originator, right? And so she's mortgage business, we've all done mortgages. Um, so Kristen Hill, she'd glad, gladly talk about this. So, so Kristen Hill, like all of a sudden she takes our class, right? She starts adding people to her connection. She just loaded her database. And so all of a sudden she started posting about the low mortgage rates and everything else and started offering a mortgage calculator and just talking about the economy and having some fun with her network. Just minor interaction. She was only on the first class out of our sales class, the first class. 
all of a sudden somebody in her network she connected to was a real estate agent she hadn't talked to in a couple of years. The real estate agent then all of a sudden refers her another real estate agent who brings her a loan. Says, I have this friend of mine, she's talking about these low rates, Tr I trust her, bring her your business. The lady brings her the business, she now connects to that lady and she gets a second loan within two weeks. True story, just happened. And guess what? She's going to definitely take the second class. <laughs> so, uh, we're going in to do the second class. We're actually uh, coaching and training her company. So, but just think about that, right? So that is a true doggone story that just happened, right? Fresh out of the gate. So I should blog about that. I was just so excited to get that. And then I had another one. Uh, we do a Facebook class on converting business. And uh, they're part of our training and coaching series, and they're generating the same type of uh, another gentleman just generated two loans out of his Facebook using some of the same same fundamentals and practices. So very very cool. Hold on, somebody just asked this is the last time I'm showing it. Socialjack.eventbrite.com. There you go. So you're on it, and then the connect to me is right there. And I have um, real quick, I have one final yeah one final polling question here. Uh, let's see, how many new customers have you brought on this year through social media? I'm just curious. I'm going to put this on. So the whole year, right? So the whole year, did you, have you achieved one customer? I'm just polling audiences so I can share some. Again, I'm not calling you out on it. I just want to know uh, if you guys could quickly, you know, I want to see where you're at because I, I love to hear how the trends are going. You know, it helps us with what we put in the marketplace and what we teach people. So... We have uh, some people selecting none, some one to five, and about 25% of you are in. And again, there's no shame here, folks. I'm not checking it. I'm not calling you out on it. Just click on, you know, click on whatever's correct for you. And I love the interaction. I love the participation. You guys are great. So with that being said, any last-minute questions? We've got like uh, about 60 seconds or so left here. Just so want to check on that. Great. All right, everybody. Well, I'm glad you all learned something. Uh, I'm glad you all participated with us, right? And uh, I can't wait to see some of you in class, and I'll see most of you online looking good with your new profiles and being highly interactive. So with that being said, I'm going to shrink wrap this recording, and you all should get a copy of it this evening sometime, and we'll also post the slides on our LinkedIn and our Facebook pages and our Twitter pages so you guys can get access to the slides. Is that cool? Thank you, everybody, and we will see you online. Take care.